Hello! God's Hunter Gamer here, with Chain and Jeffrey off somewhere, probably on his story island. Story time! Yes, it's story time! Last time I had finished the altar, and this time we're going to read a story. Two stories, actually, made by Shane. <clears throat> I'm a terrible writer, but... There was once a man who went to church every Sunday. The priest was a very nice man, and told the man needed to borrow something from the priest. He knocked on the door, but there was no response. He looked in the window and found the priest worshipping. Demons. The priest looked at the man with haste, and the man filled with fear and ran to tell everyone. He was caught by the demons and thrown into a cell within the house. After much cutting off of the bars using a saw, he escaped. He covered in fear, the man ran down into the dark depth, finding himself lost and scared in the huge mansion, where he ended up in a lab, where he drank an amnesia potion, hoping that he would forget what he was scared of. And meanwhile, the demons of that dark priest, looking all over the place, failing to find him. The house was big enough to have a mine shaft, full pools, 20 bathrooms, 50 bedrooms, and so much more. The man running for his life to the head miner's lounge, all the way at the bottom of the house, he wrote himself a note saying, I know you don't remember me, but I remember you. There are demons and monsters surrounded by a horrible man coming for you. You must rise to the top of this very house and kill him before he summons demons to this world. He is a dark priest and he must be stopped. Do this for you and me. So he climbed his way through the house, encountering many monsters and demons, and unlocking his way to the top of the house without fear. He faces the dark priest with his sacrificial knife. The man jumped at the dark priest and stabbed the knife into his heart, preventing the devil from summoning. He was the hero. Afterwards, he told everybody everything he remembered, and lived happily ever after. I want to give credit to Frictional Games so I don't get sued. Um... <laughs> It's not the amnesia storyline, but it's sort of the, you know, the amnesia one, potion second. and the whole writing himself a note was from the game, The Dark Descent. I mean, amnesia I potions are actually a thing. I know. But, so. I mean, I, I whoever doesn't know that's going to go, That's from amnesia! I'm going to sue you! So. so he thinks, which I told him that would never happen. Dude. I know that's not going to happen, but... I mean, somebody... seriously, like... By the time this goes out, I doubt I will have more than like twenty subscribers, and that's like a very large no, but amount. Like, but no, no, no. Like, listen, you, you get say okay. Let's just say, let's just say, in three years, you hit like a hundred thousand subscribers. Somebody probably has stumbled upon this video and said, "That's from Amnesia," and I just don't want to get sued. I know, JJ, this will never happen, but you can't be too safe. You can't really get sued for that. I need one piece of That's such a tiny thing, you can't really get sued. But anyway, I forgot to set the timer, so I'm just going to have to keep track of time. Okay. I do have a... There's like a timer on the recording thing that tells me. I like how I'm actually snuggled in a blanket, <laughs> ready for you to read. Okay. This next one is called The Twilight Forest. There is a mystical place that was ruled by Tech, a horrible group of people that breaks everything down in its path. They created weapons of mass destruction and sued them to create an army. A smaller civilization, called the Twilights, were native to the land and fought where they were hardest to protect it. The horrible war led both sides into depression. After a hundred years, a forest grew over what junk remained. This forest was named the Twilight Forest. It was protected by gods. This forest was all that was left now. The tech did not hold back on the attacks, so the Twilights asked for help from the gods. All the gods worked together and created the perfect person. Her name was Jane. She was gifted with the powers of the Twilight. Jane came with a prince. She had been tainted with evil, so the darkness had arisen. The darkness was ruled by a king, who sent an army after Jane in her small village after eight years. The village was attacked and Jane found out her powers of twilight when she blasted the army away at eight years old. Soon after, the village decided to use the escape tunnel to hide fr from the attackers so they would not get attacked. They crawled through the tunnel of... Boop. No idea. Three deaths two injuries, and ten days later, they made it through. 
Here was there was a small house consumed in ivy. They lived in this house for eight more years, giving time for the darkness to create mythical monsters like minotaurs, hydras, and nagas. Jane trained and mastered all her powers all her life for this moment. She was going to leave home. She left on her quest to defeat the darkness at sixteen, gathering resources and exploring the world, defeating dungeon after dungeon. She had become strong enough to take on the sword to create the Sword of Twilight, the sword, the only sword that can kill the Dark King. Two days later, Jane went to the castle where the Dark King sat. She faced the King with her sword ready for battle. The Dark King whispered, Too late. Jane drove the Sword of Twilight into the King's heart. The King in his throne, bleeding to death, says, Up, as the tech helicopter crashed through the temple, crushing Jane. Jane woke up in a jail cell. She waited there for two weeks, when one day she heard the screams of gods and the sound of clashing metals. The villagers where Jane was born had come to rescue her. The villagers explained that they needed Jane to summon the gods so that they could defeat the tech. They escaped the prison with ten deaths. They traveled back to the village without darkness they, to interrupt. They summoned the gods by putting Jane into the middle of four magic stones. They all prepared for the fight of their lives. The gods had risen up and attacked the tech. Swords clashing, people dying. The forest completely burned down, leaving nothing left. Everybody that was still alive needed the forest to survive. Jane had used his powers to summon the forest back again. The tech reinventing everything. The twilights rebuilt what they had lost. And after about a week, both sides began fighting again. After a hundred years of battling, the twilights asked for help. The gods made the perfect person, and then the cycle continued. The end. So yeah, those are the stories I came up with off the top of my head. Zach, you're really good at reading those stories. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Zach, for reading those stories. That wasn't a bad British accent. That <laughs> yeah, was pretty good. I would kill for a British accent. I wouldn't. I'd go to jail with my British accent if I killed with it. I'm killed for it. Okay, well, anyway. Last time I had made that sh this structure here, which is the uh, Cry of the Eternal Soul, which enables you to take essence from out of your soul network. By the way, I got over three million while, I was, while we were gone. And, uh... Cheater. <laughs> thank you for assuming that I'm cheating. I'm uh, kidding. And, uh, yeah. But first, and you have to I... act. <laughs> and, uh, I can't live without you. Anyway. That was the song he was going for there. Nope. But that's the what I heard from it. So. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I have to use a... Is it a weak or a strong? I'm not sure. Uh, rune of dislocation can be used to infer increase the transfer rate. Doesn't need to be any faster, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think it needs to be any faster. Um needs an awakened activation crystal which is a hard thing to make which requires this weak activation crystal that I have and a few ingredients which some of which I have some of which I don't so I don't know should I do this during the recording or not eh, 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 eh. Yeah. I don't know. I'm probably going to go into Twilight Forest, lag the entire game, and go fight bosses. Yeah. Because that's fun. Okay, well... I... I could, oh. I'm, I'm doing that instead. <laughs> yeah, hopefully I can. Because that could put our extra nether stars to use. I can replace the demonic shard with a nether star. Which is incredibly useful. Okay, so the first thing I need is three water bottles. I gotta relog. Okay. I'm gonna need three simple catalysts first, I guess. Which requires redstone, gunpowder, and things, so I need 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, lag. Yeah, that that's me. Sorry, like five people watching this episode that there's lag. Oh, hey, I found one of these maze things. Sorry, Gavin. Yeah. Okay, well, anyway. Back to making the thing. This One, stuff three. is useless. What? The stuff I'm getting in this chest. Apple, arrows, I don't need. <laughs> this stuff you're getting away. in a chest is very descriptive. Whatever. Oh, ooh, ooh, I want these hedges. Yes. Yes. Stop attacking me, spider. Okay, well, anyway. Stupid spider, go away. Oh, what? Whoa, whoa, what? Aw, you don't get the hedge. Dang it! I'm just gonna gather up all the stuff I need. Which does include a lava bucket. So, I will need a bucket first. <laughs> Do not want to just place lava on the ground. Yes. Uh, what? Uh, well, I need items to start falling into the void because they're junk items like um, wooden swords and rebel Farlander hats or whatever. Helmets. And they'll be going into the void, and I can set them into a dropper, but I need a red tone pulse. Okay. And there's no clock. Like, I could make a clock easy, it's just a matter if I have to make one. I can't just go and be like, oh yeah, I'm going to make uh, the, the item that would be called a redstone timer. Instead, I have to make one myself. Shane! Yes. Lag. I gave yeah. you a warning. That doesn't mean I can prepare for <gasps> that in any way. Oh, I might have found something absolutely amazing. Hydra. Better. Witch King. How's That's... that better? Yeah. Okay, what's better than a Hydra? The questing ram. Ooh. Well, we have every single die, and we have wool, so. Or at least we, yeah, we have, we definitely can get every single die, because we have a stack of die seeds. I questing ram is. Yes! I found the questing ram! Ooh, it looks so tiny without all those wool segments. Ah. Uh, what is a questing ram? The questing ram is the ram where you gotta get all the colors of the wool. And then you gotta, they gotta stuff him in his body, and he'll give you blocks of emeralds and diamonds and stuff. Uh, it's not really that rewarding, but it is so fun. Uh, I just, uh... Is he on the map? No. Well, I have journey maps, so wherever I go, I have a marking for. So. I'm gonna waypoint this. Waypointing this. Hmm. I don't even need to waypoint I already most have, of stuff. I already have four wolves. Boom! 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 I should probably do this when we're on camera. Uh, aren't we? No, I mean, like, if whenever you're over here. Okay. Well, that's 14 minutes. It's the end of the episode. E my CPU is getting wrecked. So, yeah. <laughs> we'll be back in our next episode. See you all, and Bye. God bless you all.